It's a big blow for Malaysia's ruling coalition to the National Front's five-decade rule and Prime Minister Abdullah Ahmed Badawi. Observers believe it's because of a failure to curb racial tension, corruption and inflation. Malaysia's race relations have deteriorated amidst complaints from ethnic Chinese and Indians about religious discrimination. Minorities are also angry about an affirmative action program that gives the majority Muslim Malays preference in government jobs, business and education. Opposition leaders hope the election paves the way for change. I consider it as a defining moment of our history. Enough of racial uh, politics, enough of corruption, enough of uh, cronyism. It is time that the judiciary is independent, that people are given their rights, and economic policy remains competitive. Going into the vote, there were concerns about just how fair it would be. This past week, Human Rights Watch accused the government of muzzling the opposition and manipulating the electoral process. Allegations of vote rigging triggered a protest in one state. Police fired tear gas at several hundred opposition supporters who accused the ruling coalition of bussing in unregistered voters to cast ballots. But Prime Minister Abdullah denies any effort to defraud the vote. About that rigging during election day, it's not true. What were opposition parties thinking? Do they think I'm a liar? I want this election to be a credible election. Good for all and good for us too. The National Front's losses at the polls could be the worst since 1969, when voting was followed by race riots and a state of emergency. Aisha Sasei, CNN, Atlanta.